I do, but if I said, I would get fired. I would have CMT calling me, cussing me out right now. Talking about Twitter. You have a very active fan base on Twitter. You make personal appearances. People talk about how excited they are that you're coming to town. Yeah. They, they talk about how excited they are that, they, that you followed them or that you've retweeted them or anything. Uh, I'd like to read you some tweets oh, from other people, and I'd like, I'd like you just to respond to those with whatever comes to mind. It's almost Thursday. I'm having daddy withdrawals. Daddy withdrawals. I would say, baby girl, get your funnel out, get me your TV, let's get it going, tweet me a picture of you funneling the beer watching the show. I had a dream last night that I had as many funnels as daddy. You know what, that tweet was today, because I read that. Um, hey man, if you got as many funnels as me, you got a lot of funnels. I name them all, too. I want to marry daddy. You've heard that a few times. If she's a Marlin man, it could happen. Okay. What is the best way to clean a funnel? Mine's all gross on the inside. The best way to clean a funnel, and this is this is serious, you can actually mess a funnel up doing this. You need to take, take the top off, put the top in the dishwasher, but when you put the hose in the dishwasher, you don't want to put it in there like this because the heat of the dishwasher will put a 90 in your funnel, and that will mess with your consumption of the, of, of the booze. You want to put it in like this straight up, going from one shelf to the next. That way the hot water can get through and you won't mess up. See, that's a great funnel. There's no 90. You see a lot of funnels that when you get them, they already got a crease up. And you want to keep that from happening because that messes with the, the flow of the booze. Getting technical. If drinking and partying were a sport, daddy would be Michael Phelps. Absolutely. I've been doing it my whole life. It's what I love to do the most. I love partying. I love having fun. I love meeting people going out, talking, doing shots, and it's kind of been it's something I've been doing since I was a, a youngster, and um, I, I don't see retirement anytime soon. I, I feel like I'm just getting in my prime. So, Ryan, Billy, here we are at the floor of Bama. This has been your hometown scene for a long time, since before the show. You come back, since we walked in here, we've seen people asking for photos with you. Uh, people recognize you instantly. Tell me a little bit about how things have changed and what the hometown Orange Beach scene still means to you. Oh, um, really, um, the only thing that's changed is the amount of pictures we take when we go out. I mean, um, and sometimes it does get a little crazy. Like on a big night, we might, you know, like last weekend, we paid a bouncer 40 bucks just to walk around and make sure nothing, nobody walks up and tries to sucker punch me or something like that. But I'm more like I, I got, I got my. I, was, I, was, I, I wasn't around last weekend. That's why that has to be. got the original daddy here. So I got him with me, man. I'm good. We take care of the slack when he's gone and stuff like that. We have a good enough time. You know, I talk to him when he's at the house. We go on what's going on. Of course, he can't have his phone or anything when he's out there. But I got the number of the house where he calls me. And, you know, I just let him know what's going on and who got arrested for beating somebody up or whatever happened <laughs> and stuff like that. And who got really drunk and so. But, uh, yeah, it's. It, it's a great time. Mother Toss is awesome. Uh, hanging out here at the floor of Bama, uh, we had a really good friend of ours that's only the owner just turned this place around. It's just a, it's a great place to hang out. John and Dennis. Yeah, yeah. And, and John and um, we just turn around like love being here. It's like a, it's a home away from home, and you know they take care of us like we're one of theirs. So it's pretty cool. Ryan, Billy, thanks for taking the time to talk to us here at the floor of Bama. It's been fun, and I'm sure we'll see a lot more of you as uh, season three of Money Down South continues. Catch us 8, 9 Central on CMT and catch us in the UK on at 4 Music Television. It's a huge network. Let's get it going. Get it going. Ah. <laughs> that good? Got me a little buzz on now. Just another one. <laughs> Can I see what we look